Hello everyone, my name is Betty Wan, and this is my engineering virtual honors capstone presentation. Mm, so before I go into the project itself, let me talk a little bit more about myself. Um, I am a current senior in mechanical engineering at the University of Michigan, and I'll be graduating this semester with um, a minor in electrical engineering. I'm a class of 2020, and these are some of the icons that I think help better define myself during my whole four years of education in the university. Um, I'm into product design and the robotics side of mechanical engineering, which let me join the tech lab program. And then because I'm also into entrepreneurship and the startup ecosystem, especially hardware, uh, hardware startups. I also joined the ELP, which is a entrepreneur leadership program at my sophomore year in college that also helped me become a better uh, individual in general. Um, and in my free time, I like to do photography. So that's a picture of me doing photography. And then I also like to dance. And you can see a picture of me dancing with my team during a Korean culture show. First, at the start of this presentation, I want to thank my tech lab teammates, Jason, Greg, and Rena, my main mobility mentors, Eric, Lawyer, my honors capstone mentor and advisor, Nick and Rachel, for making this project experience possible for me. So my honors capstone is to build a vehicle sensor system for use during autonomous vehicle road testing. And my focus area is entrepreneurship. A question that might come up is how did I get involved in this project? And the answer would be through my focus area courses. Um, the first course is a research project where I designed, built, and experimentally characterized the performance of an inflatable car seat pocket. Um, through the project, I developed my interest in product design and also creative thinking. Um, the second course is Entrepreneurial Action and Vision course. It's actually a course during my EOP, during uh, when I was an EOP student. Uh, in the class, the um, the class brought in frequent guest speakers to talk about their entrepreneurial journeys. And through that class, I learned not only soft skills, but also how to identify market opportunities. And then the last class is Tech Lab at M City. It was actually last semester I took a class in Tech Lab. Uh, the project was in partnership with Bay Mobility. Um, it is a local Ann Arbor based startup that develops and deploys autonomous shuttles to the public roads. Um, together with my team, we modified in a radio-controlled robot to achieve past planning abilities. The class not only taught me how, uh, how to gain te technical skills through project work, but also um, teamwork, team dynamics, and I felt like I became more self-aware in general. So this semester's project, I have petitioned my capstone to be another tech lab project. Um, also, it, it is with May Mobility. Um, now my team is building a sensor system to track acceleration, speed, and location of a support vehicle for autonomous vehicle road testing. Uh, the sensor system shall be very easily equipped, so set up within 10 minutes, and we should spend no more than $1,000, which is our budget. Um, the, system, the sensor system, once it's finished and tested, it will be used by Mobility to streamline their vehicle testing process. On the mechanical side, um, our deliverables include um, design prototype and test an internal mount to secure electronics and an external mount to secure the rangefinder, as well as performing preliminary on-road testing for the sensor system. Uh, my primary responsibility is to uh, deal with the internal mount. So a question would be, have we accomplished all the deliverables? The answer would be a no. Um, sadly, because of the COVID-19 pandemic and the effect that mm, brought forward, it changed quite a bit. Um, it brought quite a bit of changes to our project. Although the pandemic negatively affected our testing, I did try to deliver other ME-related objectives of the project. Um, because my primary responsibility is to design an internal mount to secure the electronics, which include the GPS, Raspberry Pi, accelerometer, and the battery, um, 
and ensure all wiring connections can be secured uh, between the electronics within the housing um, and placed within the car. It is very important that our electronics have no relative or very minimal relative motion with respect to the car uh, because we want the measurements from the sensors to be accurate. So in the end, I decided to settle on a design that utilizes the seat belt um, as shown on the left picture. So the seat belt will be strapped through the slot and then buckled down to the back seat while applying force to hold the box in place. Holes for screw mounting tabs and corners are also utilized to help support proper mounting of the electronics. Um, heavy items are placed on the lower level while uh, lighter items are placed on the upper level and then the two levels are separated by a plate which is in pink color shown in the middle graph, uh, in the middle picture. Um, very gladly, my ME teammate Jason has a 3D printer at home so we were able to continue with prototyping the housing even when the stay at home order is in place. Um, the pictures on the left shows how the prototype sits well with the back seat of the car um, when it is strapped down by the seat belt. There are certainly difficulties not anticipated with this project and most importantly it is the COVID-19 pandemic and as a result our project timeline got shifted back and certain project elements cannot be accomplished or got eliminated due to our loss of in-person contact and communication between our team members. Um, an example would be our in-vehicle testing and debugging related objectives have all been cancelled. Um, I realized that projects do not typically go as planned and they certainly will not go as planned during pandemics. But more importantly, I learned that it is important that we remain open to changes and readjust our plans as we go when facing the unexpected circumstances. Um, I feel like open communication is even more important during these times and because of that, we were able to get guidance from our mentor and overall keep our direction clear throughout the project. Um, I wish I could have participated in more in-vehicle testing and debugging throughout the project. Um, some things that I was planning on addressing but didn't end up addressed because of the pandemic include firstly uh, to test the structural integrity of the sensor system mount uh, through in-vehicle testing and making necessary design changes and other prototypes to document and address or improve any possible uh, changes uh, or issues. And then secondly, to make sure that all sensor systems can be reliably set up and unset up within 10 minutes. Um, we can do that by repeating the setup and takeoff process and uh, taking measurements and making sure that the measurements are all within 10 minutes. And then thirdly would be to help uh, my CS teammates on logging sensor, on logging sensor readouts and performing data analysis on the accuracy and reliability of our measurements. But I'm pretty glad that the project will very likely be carried forward by our mentors during the summer or even continued on to next semester's Tech Lab project, even though I will not be there. Um, and therefore, those testings will very likely be continued once the pandemic goes away. I am though very grateful towards my mentors, my teammates, and this capstone experience in general, even though not all objectives have been accomplished. Um, because firstly, it allowed me to further explore my interest in startups and the AV industry. Um, and secondly, I gained knowledge in sensor theories and applications, which is a new field I have not been familiar with before. Um, this project have also further confirmed my interest in the intersection of mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, and computer science. And uh, I am very interested in the intersection of the three fields and therefore will be, con will be pursuing a master's degree in uh, mechanical engineering concentrating in robotics. Um, and it is this project that helped me bridge that gap and helped me realize my interest in robotics. So... The above sums up my presentation, and I will now open up the questions. Thank you.